Samsung's much-awaited Galaxy S9 is only a month away from being officially launched, as the company has confirmed that it will unveil the device at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. Welcome back to Catnip and come on, let's learn together. The upcoming Galaxy flagship would be the successor to the last year's award-winning Galaxy S8. With reports claiming that S9 just features minor upgrades, let's see how these phones compare to each other. Samsung is known for making top-notch screens and the South Korean giant never disappoints when it comes to the display on its smartphones. While the almost bezel-less Galaxy S8 comes with a stunning 5.8-inch Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED Infinity display with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio, reports suggest that S9 doesn't offer any upgrades here. A leaked picture of S9's retail box says it features the same 5.8-inch Quad HD Plus S AMOLED display. Galaxy S8 houses an 8-megapixel selfie shooter and 12-megapixel rear camera. Some reports claim S8 will be Samsung's last flagship to have a single-lens primary camera. S9 is is expected to come with dual camera setup as well just like the Note 8. However, other reports suggest S9 would have the same 8 megapixel front and 12 megapixel rear cameras but feature variable f by 1.5 to f by 2.4 aperture to capture DSLR like images along with super slow mo and improved low light photography. One significant difference between Galaxy S8 and S9 would be the processor. S8 has Qualcomm's Octa Core Snapdragon 835 for the US and Chinese markets and Samsung's Exynos 8895 for the global variant out of US and China. Meanwhile, the S9 is expected to be powered by Qualcomm's next-generation Snapdragon 845 SoC and Exynos 9810. This makes S9 more powerful and 30-40% to faster than its predecessor. It would be Samsung's most powerful phone till date. That's certain, of course. Coming to the battery, both Galaxy S8 and S9 are going to have the same capacity, that is of 3000mAh, revealed by a Brazilian certification website. However, the upgraded processors will help S9 charge the battery faster. It is reported that the battery can charge up to 50% in just 15 minutes. When it comes to the placement of fingerprint scanner on the S8, Samsung didn't do a good job and worldwide it was criticized for it. It's actually one of the most criticized features of the S8. The sensor is placed close to the rear camera. Users complained they could smudge the camera lens while unlocking the device. On S9, Samsung moved the fingerprint scanner a little so that it's just below the rear camera. The Galaxy S8 is currently available at a price of 725 US dollars while not much is known about the price of the S9 some reports claim it could cost somewhere between 1000 and 1100 US dollars so that's it for now and we hope you liked the video a million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time stay tuned for more